How are you? This is Vince Roman from Burn Stainless in the next episode of Vince in Shorts. It's been a couple weeks since we've talked. It uh, was kind of an exciting few weeks. Went to Daytona Bike Week and uh, after return from that went to a, a desert camp out, shot guns with a bunch of guys in the mud and in the cold and ended up getting strep throat so I was out for a week or so. but. Anyway, we're back and we're rolling, and I just wanted to give you a little recap of what happened at Daytona. So we got down to Daytona, it was really kind of cool. My sister has just recently moved down to Daytona, so I was able to spend a few days with her and uh, take the nice ride up to <clears throat> Daytona on a motorcycle. So I stopped by at the local Eagle Rider facility, and Laura down there really uh, set us up nicely, had a brand new street glide with a a little uh, a tour pack put on the back, so my wife had a really nice uh, ride place to sit. Uh, that little uh, Lazy Boy effect, not quite as nice as like an Ultra, but it was good and she was pretty happy with, uh, with that time. But it was really good. If you're gonna go to Daytona Bike Week, what better way to do it is on a motorcycle and um, riding coast to coast. I know some of you guys do it, but um, not not for me, not having to run a business and everything. So anyway, one day I'll do it, but yeah, this week wasn't the time. But first thing that we did when we got there on Friday was went to the Traveling Hall Ride-In Bagger Show down on Mary McLeod Boulevard. And uh, it was quite a, quite a spectacle. I mean, there were just so many motorcycles there, um, the big wheel, uh, choppers uh, really were the the thing, or at least that was what kind of took my attention. Just some beautiful motorcycles, some beautiful paint jobs, and some pretty crazy, insane stereos. But uh, that was that was really really fun. Um, the show, the baggers that were in the show were all, all pretty nice. And I think there was uh, one bike there with the burned stainless uh, exhaust, and then of course we had the uh, traveling tall. Street Glide that he just released at the show. Really, really beautiful ride. We uh, provided the pipe on, on that bike in order to try to optimize the wonderful work that Zippers did on building that 128 cubic inch motor. Remember, 128 cubic inches, and he made 177 horsepower on a very, very rideable bike. If you ever get a chance to check out some of Traveling Tall's videos, you can see that bike and you can see him just cruising down the roads of Tennessee and just really enjoying his time on that. But anyway, so it's a really great that we're um, in partnership with uh, Traveling Tall and look forward to doing some uh, additional work uh, with them. So uh, really excited to have them on as a partner. So the next day we <clears throat> drove out to the track and we went to go see the, um, the races at the Daytona Speedway. Um, the, of course, if you've been to a Daytona Bike Week, there was a complete circus out in the <clears throat> the parking lot, you had stereo vendors, you had guys selling patches, <clears throat> guys selling real estate, and you know, even massagers. It was, it was quite a, a menagerie of uh, products there, but a lot of fun. Everybody's just having a really, really fun time. And again, as we show up to the show, we pulled our bikes over, we were checking out some of the vendors. And I, I look down and I see uh, one of our Burns pipes running down on a motorcycle. And there it was, tall again. So I yelled at him and he pulled over. And here at the races, not even at his own show, everybody's kind of flocking up to say hi to tall. So anyway, kind of cool to watch that. But uh, after we kind of got through the parking lot, we kind of went off into the infield and it was really cool there. We saw the V-Twin Visionary booth. And that was uh, quite, a, quite a sight. It was directly across from the uh, Harley Davidson corporate booth. And it was really a cool contrast to see not only these beautiful brand new motorcycles that were sitting there at the Harley Davidson booth, but a few feet away to see a range of custom motorcycles that people had done lots of different things to. So it was such a great contrast to see kind of that uh, Harley Davidson lifestyle to where you could go to a good stock uh, dependable motorcycle or you can go all out and really trick out the bikes and really that this uh, uh, B-Twin 
lifestyle I think is, is pretty nice. It really allows people to kind of fit in wherever they want and everybody accepts everybody. So it's really, really kind of cool. So um, <clears throat> after that, we had, of course, we had our pipe um, in the booth at the V-Twin Visionary Show. It got some, some good attention when we were out there. And then at the end of the day, um, unfortunately, actually it started raining and getting windy, so the V-Twin Visionary uh, booth had to, had to go down a little bit early, but that gave us a chance to go down to the Harley VIP tent and watch that final uh, King of the Baggers race on Saturday. Um, it was a really, really exciting race. Um, of course, it's six laps, um, and watching these uh, big old baggers go around those corners and come out of the corners weaving and, and buckling and stuff, I mean, those guys really have a lot uh, to do when, when they're racing those, those laps. Those just six laps doesn't sound like much, but I bet you when those guys are done, they're beat. But uh, what was really cool was, you know, as we were watching, you know, the Indians seemed to have uh, some pretty good uh, horsepower, I think, on the, on the Harleys. But uh, the Harleys, uh, with the, the riding of Wyman, was really able to kind of keep up. And then all the way down to the very end, it looked like Herfoss in the Indian was going to take the race. He had several, several uh, lengths on, on Wyman. But going into that last and final chicane, he, Herfoss went in a little bit hot, went a little bit wide. That kind of gave uh, Wyman really a, an opportunity. And not only that, her boss kind of turned around and kind of was looking and searching for Wyman to where he was, but that also just uh, really messed up his line and Wyman was able to swing right past him and go in for the win. And I tell you, the energy in the Harley Davidson VIP booth was amazing kind of watching those guys. So anyway, I had a really, really great time and I just thought I'd give you a couple of, of uh, tips if you go down to Daytona. You know, I told you my sister lives in Orlando, so we decided to stay with her. But it's a pretty good, you know, hour and a half, hour and 45 minute ride uh, up to Daytona. I think next time I do it, I'd stay at least one night in Daytona and just kind of take in, you know, all the all the action. I guess Daytona after the sun goes down gets a little bit crazy. I don't know if I'd partake in all that, but it'd be nice to at least kind of be around there to see it. My first time the Daytona Bike Week, I really had a good time. I encourage you to uh, go on that um, next. So. For us, the next big uh, race, the thing that we're going to go on is actually the Tennessee Music Revival, which is going to be at the Loretta Lind Ranch in out, just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and again, I've got family in Nashville, Tennessee, so we're going to spend some time out there, go out, enjoy some motorcycles, enjoy some music. V-Twin Visionary will be there. Hopefully, uh, Tall will be there as well, and we're going to have a really, really good time. So anyway, stay tuned for a review of that week. And then um, also we have in mind here the next uh, video that we're going to do is actually for you fabricators out there. We're really going to show you um, how to build a collector. And I know it's a, it's a secret and Burns has been known for a long time to uh, you know kind of build some of the best out there. But we just wanted to share how to do it. Um, maybe get some of you guys out there to, to, to try it out yourselves and uh, see how hard it really is. So anyway, uh, looking forward to that. Till next time, Vincent Shorts out.